The low FODMAP diet, why doctors are recommending it for patients with irritable bowel syndrome as a way to improve digestive health. IBS is a functional gastrointestinal disorder that affects the stomach and the bowels, and it can manifest itself with gas, bloating, altered bowel movements of constipation and diarrhea. And it can happen to anybody at any time, but there could be reasons that could cause it to be triggered. The low FODMAP diet is this groundbreaking way of managing IBS. It's an acronym that stands for fermentable oligo, dye, mono, and polyols. And these are fermentable carbohydrates that are naturally occurring in the foods. And for some people, when we eat a lot of these particular foods, they actually can exacerbate those IBS symptoms of gas bloating, constipation, and diarrhea. And when they're consumed, they're fermented in the gut and can create this cascade of events that happens with IBS. And there's been a team of researchers that have found that when we take those compounds out of the diet, they actually settle the stomach much better and we can do sort of an elimination and then bring one back in at a time and see which one is the exact trigger food that causes our bowels to act this way. The low FODMAP diet is an excellent tool for anybody to try to be able to figure out their triggers but it's definitely a diet that should not be done long term. Everything in moderation it's about empowering yourself and having the, the knowledge in order to be able to eat where you want to, with whom you want to, without feeling that your stomach is going to be the problem, no matter what situation you're in.